My new thriller, I Know a Secret, is number 12 in the Rizzoli and Isles series, starring Detective Jane Rizzoli and medical examiner Maura Isles. They encounter a crime scene which is quite shocking uh, and quite puzzling. It's a young horror film producer who's lying in bed looking very peaceful, uh, but her eyes have been removed and her eyeballs are in the palm of her hand. Maura cannot figure out the cause of death, which is uh, quite a mystery. And then when there's a second murder, this time a young man with arrows in his chest, once again, Mora cannot figure out the cause of death. These crime scenes uh, launch a mystery that send Mora and Jane uh, into a search for a young woman who has been in hiding and has a secret, and her secret could solve the entire mystery. The inspiration for this book came from two places. Uh, first of all, uh, my son and I made a horror film, and I was introduced to the uh, really interesting world of horror fans and horror films and, and how to make a horror film. So that, that was the inspiration for the, the dead horror film producer. But the other part came from medieval art. I was traveling in Italy and had been looking at a lot of paintings, uh, sacred paintings, uh, that had to do with um, the saints and the Madonna and child, and um, picked up a book called How to Read a Painting. And it described the symbols that will tell you much, much more about the stories behind these paintings. And you can find, for instance, that if there's a woman with an ointment pot, you know that that's Mary Magdalene. And if you see a woman with a broken wheel, that's very often uh, St. Catherine of Siena. Um, so I began to look at paintings in a new light and looking for the symbols and making it feel like a treasure hunt every time I saw a new painting. And then I thought, what if a murderer did the same thing, that he set up his crime scenes in a way to convey symbols, uh, to have a meaning to someone in particular. And uh, so that was, it, those were the two things that um, came together in the story. The way I approach crime scenes in all my books is from a very clinical point of view. I think if you're, you open yourself up to the horror of what's actually happened, you can't do your job. And that is the way Maura Isles must approach every, every scene, is to be very clinical, to not let the horror really overwhelm her. So I look at it mostly from the point of view of Maura Isles. What happened? How did it happen? And uh, how do I solve this crime? It's uh, really the way I think doctors approach, you know, bloody operative scenes. Uh, there may be somebody bleeding to death on the table, and it's horrifying, but you have to do your job. Several of my books have been inspired by real medical cases. The one I can think of right now, which was not my case, uh, but it was a, a young woman who was found dead in a bathtub. Uh, she had empty bill, pill bottles by her side and they assumed it was an accidental overdose. So they, uh, they zipped her into a body bag and she woke up a few hours later. So um, you know, my, my thought was, wow, how often does this happen? I began to do research uh, into um, what I, the search terms I used was uh, mis mistaken for dead and I found quite a few cases of it in just one year. So that, that um, inspired the book Vanish about a corpse that wakes up in the morgue and uh, rather startles more aisles. Well, the medical side is fairly easy for me. I know how to research that. Uh, as for the police part, I have visited Boston Homicide uh, several times. I started off uh, with The Surgeon when I did my first crime uh, novel starring Jane Rizzoli. But since then, I focus mostly on the forensics. I have a, a pretty extensive personal library of uh, forensic medicine and also just um, uh, really police forensics, and I, I consult that quite often. When I get into the head of Maura Isles, um, I don't actually miss the medical profession um, because I, I enjoy being inside her head and, and writing these stories and coming up with new and, and interesting ways to, to tantalize my readers. I, I think the writing life is, is really very well suited to me. Well, the book I'm, I'm working on next has nothing to do with Rizzoli and Isles. It's, um, it's a bit of a departure for me. It's a combination of The Ghost and Mrs. Muir and Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> I guess I can call it an erotic ghost thriller, and it's been a lot of fun to write. <laughs>